Now that we've picked all of our sounds, it's time to decide on the phonotactics. If you haven't watched our last video about picking sounds, I highly recommend going back to watch it. Now, let's begin. The word phonotactics comes from the ancient Greek phone, meaning voice, and taktikos, the arranging of, and describes the way your sounds interact with each other. In other words, it decides whether you can make a consonant heavy word, like twelfths, with four consonants in a row, or a more conservative word, like helicopter. In the same way that a word can be broken down into numerous syllables, most syllables can be broken down into three parts, the onset, nucleus, and coda. Let's take the word helicopter. It can be broken down into four syllables. Before I forget, let's convert helicopter to the IPA symbols, as it will be easier to dissect later. Each phoneme of the cop part of helicopter can be grouped into the onset, the beginning of the syllable, the nucleus, usually a vowel in the middle of the syllable, and the coda, the end of the syllable. You're probably wondering what happened to the codas on the rest of the syllables. Well, the answer is that they just don't have one. You see, English, like many other languages, makes the nucleus compulsory, but the onset and coda optional. When making your conlang, it's important to consider phonotactical constraints. Take the English verb sing. The ng syllable is allowed to go in the coda, but definitely not the onset. Putting ng in the onset would make it a lot harder for native English speakers to pronounce, as it breaks English's phonotactic rules. There are many other rules, like not having the sound h in the coda, as well as one which states that in the consonant cluster in the coda, the phonemes must have the same voicing if they are plosives, affricates, or fricatives. When deciding on rules for the constraints of your language, you need to consider all three sections of a syllable. With phonotactics, you have a lot of choice with what you do. You could even omit the onset or nucleus although normally it's best to make them optional. In my conlang, in the onset, there are no voiced uvula or glottal sounds, apart from the glottal fricative, or the English H sound. In the nucleus, I've decided to just use vowels, as in my language, there are no diphthongs. And in the coda, all sounds except the voiceless alveolar fricative are allowed. My language does not have any consonant clusters, but if you would like to make a conlang that does, I would recommend listing all your consonants and deciding which pairs or trios you would like. This is my syllable structure written out. The brackets represent the fact that the onset and coda of my syllables are optional. If your conlang has consonant clusters, you can write in the extra sounds like this. Join us next week for our video on creating your first words. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it for today.